Yeah, that's not creepy at all. All right, we are on a uh, flea market toy hunt. Uh, this is kind of an impromptu uh, flea market that's been set up here. Uh, and a local antique uh, store has put on this uh, little flea market. So. Uh, come to check out, see what they got, and see if we can find any cool stuff. You never know. So let's go do some toy hunting. All right, so uh, first up we have uh, this guy who had some cool stuff. Um, at least more in, in my wheelhouse, this Nickelodeon walkie-talkie was neat, but 20 bucks is a little steep, and I'm pretty sure it's probably a two-piece set, but those old Nickelodeon things are pretty cool. Um, I'd love to find that telephone. I uh, love dig bins. Uh, he only wanted uh, a buck for these uh, Batman uh, candy uh, containers uh, for cool. the original or the '89 Batman movie, uh, which isn't bad, all things considered. Um, seems the price is kind of high here. Uh, some cool pull strings, including a Talking Freddy. Always love a Roger Rabbit. Always love picking up vintage. Uh, retro bed sheets for different characters and stuff for my toy shows. Uh, they're great table covers. Always on the hunt for harder to find VHS tapes. Remember when you had a VHS rewinder so you didn't wear out the motor in your in your VCR? Uh, good times. Apparently this flea market is the place to find your Talking Freddy uh, pull string toy. Uh, that's the second one we found here. And I, I, episode one figures. Uh, New gun rays. If you ever need a new gun ray, I, f I swear we, I can find those at any antique store or flea market. They're the Twinkies and cockroaches of the collecting world. They will survive the apocalypse. Uh, love the Fisher Price Castle play set. I uh, have one for Zach looking to find more figures, but uh, this one is incomplete, even though it has the rare uh, dragon, but 75 bucks. A little too high. A little too high for this set. And yeah, that's not creepy. Um, Ronald McDonald. Uh, love love grab bags. Uh, you know, if you if you look in them, sometimes you will you will strike gold, uh, because especially in these shops, they don't really know what they're putting in there. But uh, nothing nothing too good in these bags. Uh, but it's always always I recommend looking at them. Uh, yeah, I don't know if the the Hitler markup here is going to be a great sell for that box, but. Uh, uh, some Atari games. I pretty much started uh, NES for my collection. I know there's big Atari fans, but NES was my first system as a kid. All right, so uh, relatively small uh, flea market, but there was some good stuff there. Uh, and I did uh, pick up a couple things. Um, uh, but unfortunately, it being kind of an antique mall flea market, uh, I think a lot of the people were kind of setting prices at antique uh, store prices, which kind of inflated not quite flea market prices where I want to be at uh, but uh, I did find a couple cool items that I thought were pretty good deals um, and uh, whether they are to keep or to sell at one of my toy shows um, I think they'll be pretty cool so let's head back to the house and uh, check them out all right everybody we're back in the studio from the pop-up flea market and uh, yeah it was it was a, it was a fun little thing like you know you, you never know how uh, those things are gonna pan out I mean if anybody has done toy hunting uh, through like antique stores or antique malls before it can always be very hit or miss you kind of have to dig to find or if there is any anything good or worth getting um but uh, it was fun i mean it was a uh, it was nice out it was, it was cold and kind of crisp a nice fall day and uh, i did actually come home with a few things that uh, i thought were pretty good deals so um let's jump into that now uh first up is uh so, uh, one of the guys there, I mean, the only, the person that I, the only person I bought stuff from, uh, he had a bunch of just stuff, uh, and, uh, you know, I think I, I shot some of the video, uh, he had, uh, some pole string toys, as well as, uh, that Nickelodeon walkie-talkie thing, but, um, for a dollar, he had these, uh, Batman, uh, candy, uh, containers, uh, from the first Batman movie in 1989, and still have the candy in there. Uh, maybe another video would be me trying to eat one of these 30-year-old candies. Maybe? 
No, probably not. It's a bad idea. Um, but it still has the Kmart sticker on there, 49 cents. And it's actually in really good shape. Like sometimes these things uh, are all torn up. But uh, a neat little find for a dollar. Um, a neat little knickknack for the shelf. Um, and then I only got one other thing uh, at this uh, flea market. And uh, I thought it was pretty cool. It was from the same guy that I got the Batman uh, candy head from. And it was uh, this Pee Wee Herman pull string toy. Uh, mint inbox. This uh, figure, or this toy, is very important to me because um, uh, it's one that I had as a kid, uh, and my great grandma and my nana bought bought it for me uh, for Christmas, I believe, when I was three or four, um, and uh, it was one of my favorite uh, toys as a kid. I loved Pee Wee Herman, uh, as did most uh, kids my age, but. Uh, this one is just really nice condition, and the pulse, it has a pull string uh, in the back, and it still works pretty good. Like, the voice box isn't just destroyed, so let's take a listen. I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> so, yeah, so yeah, the voice box isn't messed up. The box is actually in pretty good shape. It has some, like, uh, sun fading on the top, uh, but still, it's, just a, it's a really neat... Um, a really neat toy, uh, one that uh, I had as a kid. Uh, so yeah, there, there it is. There's my two things I got from the pop-up flea market in Raleigh, North Carolina. All right, that'll do it for this episode of Geek Dad Life. Hit the like and the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video, as well as tap on that bell icon to get notified when the latest episode of Geek Dad Life drops. We'll see you guys next time. Hasta luego and goodbye.